Well, good evening, guys. It's Christian YouTube Daddy. Let's go for our Friday evening drive about. It's half past nine now. I've just finished at the arcade. And it's the start of Glasgow weekend here in the sunny town of Blackpool. So let's have a look at what's happening. Uh, I've not long closed. And the Scottish have just started landing in Blackpool. So it should be quite vibrant out there tonight. So I thought what we'll do is we'll go and have a look uptown. And you can see it is raining a little bit, but nothing major, it's just spotting really. But that's nothing for the Scottish. The Scottish are used to rain, it's always raining in Scotland, so. So you know where we are? We're at the side of Hounds Hill. And I think we'll go uptown and we'll see what's happening up in town on a Friday evening. Because you know the Scottish, they like to have a drink and they like to go out and they like to party. Where did this, uh, this uh, thing come from that the Scottish are tight? It's a complete fallacy. It's totally rubbish. You know, the Scottish are not tight at all. They really do know how to spend and enjoy themselves. Fair play to you Scottish viewers out there. You guys certainly know how to enjoy yourself. So let's see if we can see many Scottish out there today. So what we'll do is we'll go and have a quick look up Queen Street, see what's happening up there, and then we'll go down along the prom and see if there's much going on. Because as a general rule, the Scottish started coming in, and uh, so I've seen quite a few come in. You see all the suitcases come in, and they book into the hotels, and then suddenly once they're in the hotel, they then start coming out. So let's go and see what's going on. So we're just coming onto Cookson Street now. Let's see if we can see Steve about. Let's see if he's about here. Try and clean the window screen up a little bit here. It's a bit misty. I've just uh, put the, to clean the window screen, the de-mister one. I'm going to put the deep mist on to clean the window screen because it's a little bit misted up. It's on Cookson Street at the moment. Ah, oh, that's a bit better. You won't see anything round here at the moment uh, until we go down to, uh, down to Queen Street. A little busy weekend. As you say, it was quite busy today, but it's a typical Friday. I'm dealing with people who've been here all week and they get their burgers before they go home. Uh, and then I'm waiting for the next lot of people to come in. But apparently, uh, the roads have been pretty busy coming uh, down from Scotland. A lot of people are telling me the coaches have been taking like six or seven hours to get down here. So that's Mark Kelly's on my right hand side there. There's a few people about. Funny girls there, I wonder if Pete's there tonight, Friday night. Pete will probably be in there, he'll have his frock on. And man bar just across the road on the right hand side. So we're just going down Springfield Road here, guys. And we'll quick have a quick look around, see what's happening down Queen Street. But to be fair, as I said in my last video, Queen Street does appear to have gone very quiet nowadays. It used to be absolutely banging, but I'm not seeing the stags and hens. Uh, in Blackpool that we used to get. We used to get like thousands of them and I'm just not seeing them numbers anymore. And this is the epicentre of where it all used to be, but not so much now. 
No, there's not a lot going on down here. The bars are looking, well, that, that bar's looking empty. Cowboy. Did that three people in there. Slugging letters. Not that many people in there. No, it's not that busy. Walk about doesn't seem that busy. It just doesn't seem to have the numbers that it used to have around here. It really doesn't. It just seems or does it now you, whether you think it's a good thing or a bad thing, there seems to be more families and couples in Blackpool, rather than stags and hens as late. The past couple of years I've seen that. Uh, but I do believe a lot of them going off to Prague and places like that. Because obviously the stags and the hens more drive the nighttime economy. I don't really, I never really did a lot from them on the burger bar or the arcade. But obviously, for those of you who know me, you know that I, years ago I did do a st uh, one stag party hotel and one hen party hotel. So there it is. Don't talk about the Metropole. That's where we are now. We'll just drive on the front and see what's happening along the front. We're going to have a quick look at the uh, illuminations as well. No, it really... Yeah, it's just not the level it used to be. Should be browns on the North Pier this weekend. I'm sure say somebody told me that. Any of you guys see Chubby Brown? He's absolutely brilliant. I've seen him a couple of times in concert. He's absolutely brilliant. One day I'm just looking at the tram going past. One day I'm going to have to go on the tram and do some filming on the tram. I can't believe I've been here 21 years and still never been on the tram or the bus. Mind you, I don't think I've been on the bus for about 30 years. So we'll see what's happening in uh, the 80s. Uh, not a lot. Brannigan seems to be, oh, that's, that's Paul Brannigan, he's absolutely packed. Revolution is closed. They're not closed on Friday. I'm hungry. Uh, uh, I don't know eating today. I'm going to need to get something to eat from somewhere. See, as you can see, there is definitely more families and uh, couples milling about rather than groups of lads and groups of girls. Albert and Lion, uh, which is obviously the uh, Weather Spoon, that's pretty full. Oh, I don't fancy driving along here in this traffic jam. So you can see there are a lot of people milling about, but this is definitely families with young children and stuff like that. <sighs> so we're out on Coral Island at the moment.
You've got the rock shop open on my left hand side here. That's one big ass rock shop. I'm just going to nip around here and just, uh... <coughs> I'm not going to be stuck in a traffic jam all that time. <coughs> there's, there's, there's definitely a lot of families running and milling about. So you can definitely see the Scottish have landed now. when people put their noses out that far trying to stop the traffic. Just wait your turn. Just go past the number 13 pub. We'll go up Foxhall Road and go that way. The Ardwick, uh, that'll be busy. They've just had new carpets in the Ardwick. So for those of you who use the Ardwick, uh, I saw the carpet fitters, it was shut down for a couple of days during the week while they had new carpets put in on the Ardwick pack like normal. When you're driving around here at night, as you can see, you have to be very, very careful. But people literally have no sense of direction. Just literally walk straight across the road. Lifeboat, which is a... Uh, Looks like that's not going to be open till next season. Mark Kelly's. Next place in New Philly. Obviously, you can see it's having an extension put on the. It looks like it's nearly finished, actually. The extension they've had put on the, uh, the left hand side of it. We'll go up Tilsley Road. Houses have been the social housing and private housing have been built. I'm outside the crazy Scotch bar, and there's a new uh, candy shop. Surprised it's open at this time of night. Lizard Road. Let's see what's going on up here. Not a lot. This used to be absolutely bustling when I first moved to Blackpool. But obviously, after, after the years of the hope that back, the Backstreet Bed and Breakfast have closed down over the years, it means that the whole area has gone into decline. It's an unfortunate consequence of. Uh, there being no real accommodation down here anymore. The bridge. That looks pretty empty as well. Bloomfield Chippy. It used to be really good in there, but it's had new management in there and it's rubbish now. I tried it once. I'd never go back there again. Yeah, it used to be really good, but they say the guy who had it years ago sold up and uh, and somebody else took it over and the, and the standards went right down. Went right down. My favourite Chinese there. 
Lism House Kitchen. Just go past the Excelsior. Uh, well, that place looks quite empty as well. It's really nice in there. Have any of you guys been in the Excelsior? It's really nice. I've been in I was in there not that long ago. I went to a wake there. Oh, maybe about four months ago. And it's really nice in there. The new Albert just gone past that. I didn't see how many people were in that. Mark Kelly's. There's quite a few people in there. Dog and Partridge. That's a good pub. This pub on the left hand side. Uh, the Royal, I think it's the Royal Oak, isn't it? Yeah, the Royal Oak. Shut down. Shut down. I don't know if it's long-term closed or anything like that. I don't know what the situation is. But I only noticed the other day. Mind you, I have been in there and it was a bit rough. <laughs> it was definitely a bit of a rough pub. Well, on Til uh, sorry, we're on uh, Waterloo Road, top end of Waterloo Road now. This, uh, this hasn't uh, done a lot of an evening type of years. Basically, every closes down here from about five o'clock. And it has, it's been like that for years. Could we go past the old new market? Really, really good market in there. The Bull. Oh my God, it's been a few years since I've been in there. Uh, not that many people in there. Oh, is this road open now? Oh, excellent, the road's open now. So you're going to get, have a better look at the rubble. This is where the old Hearts Amusement, the Hearts... Uh, on Bond Street was, look at the old Christmas shop. As you can see, it's nearly gone. Just the rubble, they're not crushing the rubble now. Well, hopefully, because they're building a car park on there, last resort pub. Uh, not that many people in there either. You just don't seem to get the same atmosphere in pubs that you used to do. But I like this bit and sawdust type of pub. Just go past Dean Street. And then we're going over. Station Road. We're going to a uh, bob past the back of the Pleasure Beach. No, actually, we'll turn right here. Why not? Why not indeed? So we're heading towards South Pier. Doesn't seem to be that busy up on the road down here. But we'll go around the side, we'll go back at the... Uh, come out towards the Pleasure Beach. Back of the weather spoons. Well, there's quite a few people in there in that in the weather spoons. And that uh, you see the building there, that's the white tower. That's a very posh restaurant. Very arse. Very posh. Uh, I have been in there, the White Tower restaurant, it's not cheap, it's, it's really not cheap, so you can, I'm just going to turn now so you can see it, this is the White Tower restaurant, it's New World Cuisine and all that kind of stuff, so it, it is very nice food, there's absolutely no doubt about it, it is very nice food, very, very pricey, and it's not the type of place you take your kids to or anything like that, it's more of a, an anniversary meal type of thing. Um, God, it's been 15 years since I've been in there. It was a long time ago. It, it is very, very nice food, as I said, but it is extremely pricey, especially for the areas that we're in in Blackpool. So just go past Pizza Hut. Oh, a few people in there. I don't think I've ever been in that Pizza Hut.
go past the, uh, the big blue. Oh, the rain sort of come down a little bit heavier now. Train station. And we're just driving there. Say, so this is we just we just link back onto Bond Street. This is the top end of Bond Street. But what we're doing, we're going to just nip over the bridge here on the right hand side. left here for a second uh, I know there's a lot of people who, who are thinking of moving to Blackpool and stuff like that so I just wanted to show you where the local uh, primary school is this is Thames primary school here we're on seven roads and this is Thames primary school here this is where Becky went to when we first came to Blackpool Meant to be a very good primary school, actually. You can just see it here on the right hand side. So, this is Thames Primary School. Oh, they've updated this. They've really changed this. The parking's a bit naughty, to be fair, uh, when you're dropping the kids off. And you say, when we first moved to Blackpool, uh, Becky, uh, the youngest, this is a school that she went to. Well, now we'll go straight over. I just wanted to show people that because I know there's a lot of people who are thinking, who watch these videos, who are thinking of moving to uh, Blackpool. So it's always nice to know where things are. There are other primary schools out there as well, but that's the only one I really know. That or Waterloo, which are for like South Shore area. Now this is Highfield Road, what about, this is Watson Road, sorry. What about, about Highfield Road? I'm losing the plot here. But just down here on the left hand side, just there, is Watson Park. Very good park actually. And this is Watson Road Bridge, where if I turn left here, it takes me on to uh, St Anne's Road. But what we'll do is we'll go straight over, actually. You read with me for this junction, a bit of a nasty junction this is, if you don't know it. So this is typical uh, inland uh, council housing uh, type of area, which a few private houses built on the on the side here. But as a general rule, this is your original 1930s council housing. I'm not sure if it's council house stock anymore or it's private landlords. I'm not 100 sure. So that's we're just coming off Watson Road now. <laughs> that 
that waste ground on the right hand side there, this is Horside Lane that we're on. That waste ground on the right hand side there, that was where the big gun club used to be. The big big gun, they knocked it down a few years ago. And so as I said, we're on Horside Lane at the moment. And as you can see, there's the tower in front of me. The Land's End pub, that's obviously a local pub. There's a PDSA on my right hand side. For those who don't know, that's a Vets. And here is the primary school that I was on about here. This is Watson Road, just on my right hand side here. You can't really see it in the dark. We're on Watson Road now, and this is Watson Road, Watson Primary School. Waterloo, sorry, Watson. Waterloo Primary School, we're on Waterloo Road now. That's Waterloo Primary School there. Let's pop down one of these side streets and have a look. See what's down here. Spud and Jacket. That's a potato shop, never been in there. Might have to try that, sounds nice. No idea what road on now. I'm completely lost now. I know where geographically I am, but I don't know what road it is. Don't quite know where this brings me out to, but we'll soon find out, won't we? Is this still Waterloo Road? This could still be Waterloo Road. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Tesco Express on my right hand side. <laughs> Let's go down here. Let's see what's down here. Little on my left hand side. There are plenty of schools around here. I think that's a that's a primary school as well. So I've shown you the three primary schools in this general area. Revo, this is this school being here. This that long, Pete actually went here. It's not your boy Leroy. That's where he went to Revo School. That shows you how long he's been here. There's that chip is all I'm going to. I'm just, uh, this is me, uh, Grassmere Road Road now, and we're just gonna bang onto the central drive now. Right, there we go, we've had a bit of a drive around, see what's going on. We've been around the local areas, we've been around the tourist areas, I've shown you a few primary schools, and I'm just gonna dip home now. So, if you like this video, don't forget, 
hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe. See where that bike can go in there. The local petrol station there. As I said, if you like this video, hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell, it doesn't cost you a copper coin, and it's absolutely free, and it'll tell you when I put another video up. You know what I'm like, I don't tell anybody, I just bang them up there. So if you've got that notification on, it'll tell you. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, and it's goodbye from me.